Let us pray the Novena to the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are all, you are beautiful, all beautiful, Mary, Mary and, and the original stain is not, not in you. You, you are, are the glory of Jerusalem. Jerusalem. You are you the, the joy, joy of Israel. Israel. You, you give, give honor, honor to our, our people. people. You, you are, are the advocate, advocate of sinners. sinners. O oh, Mary, Virgin, Virgin most prudent, prudent mother, mother most merciful, merciful pray for us, us, intercede for us with the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. O oh God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please kneel. O most pure Virgin Mary, conceived Conceive without, without sin, sin, from, from the, the very, very first, first instant, instant, you, you were, were entirely, entirely immaculate. immaculate. O, o glorious, glorious Mary, Mary, full of, full of grace, grace, you are the Mother of God, the Queen of angels and of men. men. I humbly venerate you as the chosen Mother of my Savior, Savior Jesus Christ, Christ, the Prince of Peace and the Lord of Lords, shows you for the singular grace and honor of being his beloved Mother. mother. By the power of his cross, he preserved you from all sin. Therefore, by his power and love, I have hope and bold confidence in your prayers for my holiness and salvation. I pray that your prayers will bring me to imitate your holiness and submission to Jesus and the divine will. Queen of heaven, I beg you to beg my Savior to grant me these requests. Silence, silently mention your petitions. My Holy Mother, I know, I know that, that you were obedient, obedient to the will, the will of God. Of God. In, in making, making this petition, I know, I know that God's will is more perfect than mine. Than mine. So, so grant that, that I may receive God's grace with humility, with humility as you did. As my, my final request, request, I ask that, that you pray, pray for me to increase in faith in our risen Lord. Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase in hope in our risen Lord. I ask, I ask that, that you pray, pray for me to increase in, in love for the risen Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. O Mary Immaculate, I, I pray that, that on this last day of my novena, I may share your purity, humility, and beauty of soul. Grant that I may receive your Son, Jesus Christ, in the Holy Communion that it may become the symbol of the eternal reward. Never take me away, O my mother, from your sight. O my mother, may I always remain in your love, mercy and grace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Mother of Christ. Pray for us. Mother of the Church. Pray for us. Mother of Mercy. Pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace. Pray for us. Mother of Hope. 
Pray for us. Mother most pure. Pray for us. Mother most chaste. Pray for us. Mother inviolate. Pray for us. Mother undefiled. Pray for us. Mother most amiable. Pray for us. Mother most admirable. Pray for us. Mother of good counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our creator. Pray for us. Mother of our savior. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical Rose. Pray for us. Tower of David. Pray for us. Tower of Ivory. Pray for us. House of Gold. Pray for us. Ark of the Covenant. Pray for us. Gate of Heaven. Pray for us. Morning Star. Pray for us. Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Solace of migrants. Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us, Queen of Martyrs. Pray for us, Queen of Confessors. Pray for us, Queen of Virgins. Pray for us, Queen of All Saints. Pray for us, Queen Conceived Without Original Sin. Pray for us, Queen Assumed into Heaven. Pray for us, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary. Pray for us, Queen of Families. Pray for us, Queen of Peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Remember, O most Spirit. gracious Virgin Mary, that, that never was it known that anyone, anyone who fled to your protection, protection implored your help, or sought your intercession, intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my Mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Virgin Most Holy and Immaculate, to you, to you the, the honor, honor of our, our people, people and our loving, and our protector, loving protector, do we turn with, with loving trust. trust. You are all beautiful, O Mary. Mary. In you there is no sin. sin. Awaken in all of us a renewed desire for holiness. holiness. May the splendor of truth shine forth in our words. The song of charity resound in our works. Purity and chastity abide in our hearts and bodies. And the full beauty of the gospel be evident in our lives. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you the word of God became flesh. Help us always to heed the Lord's voice. May we never be indifferent to the cry of the poor, or untouched by the sufferings of the sick and those in need. May we be sensitive to the loneliness of the elderly and the vulnerability of children and always love and cherish the life of every human being. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you is the fullness of joy born of life with God. Help us never to forget the meaning of our earthly journey. May the kindly light of faith illumine our days, the comforting power of hope direct our steps, the contagious warmth of love stir our hearts, and may, and may our gaze be fixed on God, in whom, whom true joy is found. You are all beautiful, O Mary. Hear our prayers. Graciously hear our plea. May the beauty of God's merciful love in Jesus abide in our hearts. 
and may this divine beauty save us, our city, and the entire world. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather around the table of the Lord as one community, and this memorial of St. Ambrose, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. We ask for his intercession that we may truly find our true purpose and follow the will of God in our lives. And so let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Ambrose a teacher of the Catholic faith and a model of apostolic courage, help us in your church men after your own raise up in your church men after your own hearts to govern her with courage and wisdom through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen please be seated a reading from the book of the prophet isaiah to whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say, and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Do you not know, or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting. For the weak, he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youths stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagle's wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Please stand.
Behold, the Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Why do we get tired? Bakit huba tayo napapagod? Ano bang dahilan ng kinapapaguran natin? Two things. First, because we keep on pursuing thing or we keep on pursuing the wrong things. And secondly, we pursue the right things for the wrong purpose. Siguro yung una medyo obvious na po. When we waste our energy pursuing the wrong things, then for sure, we get drained. And the moment we are able to pursue those wrong things and we realize it was a terrible mistake, nasayang lahat ng effort natin. Nasayang lang lahat ng lakas at panahon natin dahil hinabul-habul natin ang isang maling bagay. Secondly, we get tired when we pursue the right things for the wrong purpose. What do I mean? For example, may sinasabi ho ang mga lalaking may asawa na happy wife, happy life. Ibig sabihin, kapag pinasaya yung kanilang asawa, hindi magiging mahirap ang buhay may asawa. Is that really the purpose of married life? Isn't it, isn't it that couples should help one another grow in holiness? Dahil kapag ganun lang ang moto ng mag-asawa, hindi ba't parang naggagamitan lang sila? The husband is contented because the wife is happy. The wife is contented, then the husband is also happy. At the end of the day, they may find themselves getting tired simply because they want to please the other person. When couples no longer help one another grow in holiness, then they lose the sanctity of marriage. Right things, wrong purpose. Or another example would be, when a person decides to take up a certain course or chooses a certain profession, do they consider their talents? Do they consider their passions? Or do they simply go with the flow? Napilitan lang eh. Kaya, no choice na. Kaya, kapag napasok sa isang trabaho, ang tingin lang ay pagkakataong kumita ng pera. Pero, hindi nakikita yung misyong nakakabit sa trabaho or yung kursong iyon. Right things, wrong purpose. When we look at these two reasons, it points to us, it point, they point to us a certain feeling of unsensible tiredness. Napapagod tayo sa maling dahilan. Dahil kung tutuusin, meron naman ho tayong mga kinapapaguran 
na nasa tamang dahilan. And that is the invitation of our readings for this day. In our first reading, we hear the Israelites complaining, How about us? My rights are disregarded by the Lord. Diba minsan, yun din yung reklamo natin. Paano naman ako? Paano naman yung gusto ko? And when we simply choose our own way, disregarding the path of God, then we end up in a sad and miserable state. We find ourselves wasting our energy, ending up in feeling that unsensible tiredness. And that is also what Jesus reminds us in our Gospel. His invitation of coming to Him for rest does not mean we will not get tired. But carrying His yoke would mean understanding God's purpose for us. That is sensible tiredness. We get tired for the right purpose. We get tired, but we end up feeling fulfilled. Let us beg for this grace to find our right purpose in doing and pursuing things so that we may see that fulfillment that God desires for all of us. Please stand. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Confident of this promise, we now present to him our needs. For every intention, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father and the bishops of the Church may guide us in the ways of peace and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are tempted to despair under the crushing weight of their problems may seek refuge in Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering from mental torment may find peace in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are weighed down by bodily pain and illness may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That the dead may find eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions. Remembering all the people are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Heavenly Father, your Son promised to give us rest when overburdened. Grant that we may always respond to his guidance and strengthen us to be instruments of his grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which He constantly enlightened St. Ambrose for the spreading of your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us in the festival of St. Ambrose, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Ambrose, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, into temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you that should, should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Lead us who have been strengthened by the power of this sacrament, O Lord, so to profit from the teaching of St. Ambrose, that hastening fearlessly along your paths, we may be prepared for the delights of the eternal banquet. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel and we pray the prayer of entrustment to the Immaculate Conception. O most, o most blessed, blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, you who were preserved, preserved from the stain of original sin, sin most loving and powerful patron of the Philippines, to you also be endless praise, everlasting veneration, and thanksgiving in Christ Jesus. O Immaculate Mother, our most kind Mother, our most sweet and most exalted Queen, with grateful hearts, we praise your mercies and fly to your protection. O Blessed Lady, you who captivate with your sweetness the hearts of men, you have captivated our hearts, you have captivated the hearts of your people also. You have established, fostered, and strengthened the foundations of the faith in our beloved land by your good patronage, as manifested in so many visible proofs of your maternal love. We are yours, we wish to be yours. Show yourself a mother and patron to us. Guard us and protect us through your most powerful intercession. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Please stand. Tomorrow, the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of our Blessed Mother, we, have, we will have four Masses on the said day as, feast, as, the feast day of, as we celebrate the feast day of the Manila Cathedral, 8 a.m., 11 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. His Eminence, Cardinal Advincula, will preside the 11 o'clock Mass together with the Apostolic Nuncio to the Philippines, Archbishop Charles Brown. We continue to pray for the healing of the whole world amidst this pandemic, and we join the diocesan, shrine, the, the diocesan shrine of Our Lady of Grace Parish in Caloacan City, who will lead us in praying the Holy Rosary tonight at 9 a.m. You may follow them through our social media pages. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.